Okay, so we got that to work. We also need to add a key into here. Add a string named key. And then we will add, make it so that the bind list will be visible when you press the button. And the group box will not be visible. And the preview button dot text will be close list. And then the bind it it will add an item to the bind list of the value of bind, which we dimmed right here. Bind key say bind. Okay. And then find box dot clear and key box dot text equals nothing. Now, what we want to do is make it so that when the user presses the delete key on a bind in the list box, that we want it to delete. This took me a lot to find out, a lot of Google searching. Finally figured it out. First what you want to do is select the box, go to the events, double click on key down, and in key down we want to add this code. If e dot key code equals keys dot delete then while not find list dot selected item equals nothing find list dot items dot remove find list dot selected item so what this code says is that if the delete key is pressed and while the uh, selected item doesn't equal nothing then delete the selected item that's pretty much it uh, and now we want to code the reg uh, the re regenerate CFG button. So double click on the regenerate CFG button and it'll open up the code. In the code we will type int response equals msg box saying this will regenerate a call of duty CFG for your game with Periodically, you might want to add new lines. It makes it look so much better. The bind in your list. Are you sure you want to continue? And then here we will add a more advanced message box code. Instead of just selecting information or yes and no style, you can add them to get you can put them together just type bb information plus bb yes no and that puts them both together and then a title of continue Oops. okay now if i am team response equals bb yes then in SFD, actually, instead of typing all this out, we can just scroll up here and copy and paste this code because it's all just the same thing, uh, except you will want to change one thing in here. This needs to be changed to file two, and this closes. Uh, that's not the end. Now let's create another setting of file 
two. And that fixes that. Uh, now that's done. Uh, Din i as integer and w equals new i o string writer. This will be the path of the file. Um, this I'm not too familiar with, but I can explain as much as I can. <clears throat> what this is doing is saying it's dimming pretty much because you dimmed W up here. You dimmed W as IO stream writer. So now you're making the W a new IO stream writer. And this is the file that will say what it writes. And it will save it in startup path slash find list. So we will type for i equals 0 to find list um, dot items dot count minus 1 w dot right line find list dot items dot item i uh, next w dot close and then new cfg2 dot show I believe that's it that is it for this code uh, this right here um, I really can't explain very well because I'm not too familiar with the stream writer. I just googled it pretty much. Uh, so let's add a new form. New form will be new CFG2. New CFG2. Okay. Now the design will be similar to the other one we did, so I will just do some copy and pasting. We want the size to be this size, the center screen, the icon, Maximize, minimize, false, and then name will be player name. Now, you can really just copy and paste this from your other form like this, and paste it in here, like that, like so, and there we go, mm, almost. So this is what it should look like. I'll go down here and change the accept button to OK button. And these are all already set, except for this. And, yep. So there's your design. Now go to the code. And actually, let's double click on the OK button instead. Open. Um, I will go over the code on this in the next one.